Okay, just gonna go through and debunk this video by Steven Anderson where he rips 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3 completely out of context to prove his satanic post-trib rapture heresy. And all these post-tribber heretics, they always have to stop at verse 3. Okay, I'm gonna show you why you don't stop at verse 3, and you have to keep reading past verse 3. I'm gonna prove that to you, but let's get right into this. That you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, that is that the day of Christ at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, and on and on. Now this verse alone demolishes the idea of a pre-tribulation rapture. I mean, not to mention the fact that we have the crystal clear scriptures in Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, that talk about the rapture being, quote, after the tribulation. Um, it doesn't say after the tribulation. It says after the tribulation of those days. Okay? Quit ripping stuff out of context, Anderson. If that were not enough, right here, this scripture alone demolishes it, saying that it is a deception to say that the day of Christ is at hand. And that first, we're going to see these. Look, he's setting the believer's mind at ease, saying, you will see these things happen first. Don't get all worried and shaken and, oh, it's about to happen. It's happening any moment. He said, look, these are the things that you're going to see. Why would he tell them about stuff that, that's going to happen after they're gone? Oh, don't let anybody deceive you because this other stuff's going to happen after you're gone. Okay, here's what you post tripper heretics have to do. Anderson, you know, all these other guys. Keep reading past verse 3, okay? Let me show you what it says past verse 3, okay? Start at verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not so soon shaken in mind, neither, or be troubled, neither by spirit, or by, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, that as, as that the day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And they'll always stop at verse 3. Keep reading past verse 3, okay? They always do this. It's so annoying. It's, it's, it just shows their, their lack of spiritual discernment and their lack of biblical, biblical illiter illiteracy. Or it shows their amount of biblical illiteracy, I put it that way. Who opposeth himself and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple as God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was, what ye, what, when I was yet with you, I told you these things? Look at, look at this next couple of verses. And now you know that, or yet now you know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work; only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of of his coming. Hmm. So he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Well, who is who is that let? Who is letting? Who is stopping the antichrist from showing up? Because there's always someone stopping him from showing up. Who is it? Well, it's the body of Christ. I'm going to prove that to you. You know, this is why you have to read past verse 3. Okay, compare this. And this is another thing post rivers don't do. They don't compare scripture with scripture. They always rip, they always, like, typical of all cult members, because post river is a satanic cult. Typical of all cultists, they always base doctrine off a couple of verses out of context. They don't compare scripture with scripture. The Catholics do this. The, many of the Protestants do this. They always base their whole system off one verse out of context. They don't. This is what the Catholics do with their mass. They base the whole mass off John chapter six verse fifty three. They rip it out of context. The, like read the context of the passage. Okay, don't just rip one verse out of context. Read it in the context that John six fifty three uh, says that. It doesn't say you have to actually eat the blood, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. It's saying that Christ is our bread and Christ is our is basically our salvation, and we receive that bread through believing on Him. That's the context of John six fifty three. Okay, so they rip it out of context, but they won't read the full context of the passage. Okay, the same thing to post trippers. They do this with Second Thessalonians. They don't read past verse three. Okay, compare that. You know, he who he who not let us will let until he be taken out of the way. Compare that with. Revelation 5, 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, by thy blood, out of every kindred, tongue, people, and nation. So you have blood-redeemed saints who are in heaven praising God. And guess what? This is before the Antichrist shows up. How do I know that? 
because they're praising him as he's opening the seals. He then opens the seals, and then the Antichrist shows up in Revelation 6 2. And behold, or and I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. It's the Antichrist. So wait a second, you have Second Thessalonians where he who now let letteth will let until he till he be taken out of the way, paraphrasing. You have blood redeemed saints who are in heaven. So first of all, you have someone you have people who are stopping the Antichrist from showing up. You have blood redeemed saints who are in heaven before the Antichrist shows up in Revelation 6 2. Preacher of Rapture. Because we're take, we have because we're stopping the body of Christ, we're stopping the Antichrist from showing up. So we have to be taken out of the way before he can show up. You know? This is why I compare scripture with scripture. I can prove very clearly a pre-trib rapture by, compl by comparing scripture with scripture. That simple. Okay? We're, we're hindering the Antichrist. We're, we're stopping him from showing up. Once we're taken out of the way, then he shows up. And we're and we're in heaven before he shows up. That simple. So that's why I have to read past verse 3. And don't be deceived by these satanic post or heretics like Stephen Anderson and all these other um, biblically illiterate, spiritually lacking spiritual discernment, these types of heretics. So don't be deceived by them. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.